Okay, so I want to begin this project with teaching you how to export your MetaHuman characters from Quixel Bridge to Unreal Engine 4. Now, whenever you're using Unreal Engine 4, 4.26, or 7, you're going to need Quixel Bridge to get your MetaHuman in Unreal. So to do that, just download Quixel Bridge and log in. And then you're going to have MetaHuman presets right here. But if you have custom ones that you made via the web browser, the MetaHuman Creator tool, you're going to have an extra uh, link right here with the MetaHumans. Now, these are all my MetaHumans right here. Some of these were made by my little cousin. She's killing it right now. The first thing you need to do is actually download the MetaHuman. So if you click on this, this is a new one she made. I can download this. And once I'm done downloading it, so this example, as long as an Unreal Engine 4 project is open, it's going to take it there automatically. Okay, I know a lot of people are getting confused with that. They're trying to export it from the human creator tool in a web browser. That's not going to work. You need Quixel Bridge. Additionally, you need to install the plugin as well. So if I go right here, go to export settings, you see the export target is Unreal Engine. Engine version is 4.27. And the plugin location, that is just a plugin location of your actual uh, Unreal Engine. So Epic Games, UE 4.26, and an engine that's fine. So download, export, make sure you have an Unreal Engine open, and that's going to take your MetaHuman. It's going to create its own folder called MetaHumans, and everything is going to be right here. Okay, the second very important part that I really start with whenever I'm making these kind of things is audio. So for the audio, I reached out to two individuals online and sent them the script, and they recorded their dialogue for me, and they sent it, and they sent it back to me individually. So that's what you're looking at right now in Adobe Audition. So I have the track one as the male performer, second one is the female, and the third is actually yours truly counting. So I'm gonna play this back. One, two, three, clap. Thanks for coming. I see you still. All right, so this right here, this syncing right here in the beginning is so important and you're going to see that here in a second because what we're going to do is we're going to sync our motion capture body face and eye to this audio one two three clap thanks for coming i see you still like to meet up in creepy places what do you want so out of this uh, adobe audition i'm going to export three things i'm going to export the male version with my sync as an entire session. I'm going to do the female version with my sync entire session. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and export them all together as one. So I'm going to have three different files. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the rest. All right. So what we're going to do first is actually download the iClone Live Link MetaHuman animation magic. All right, so if you go to this website right here and click on Get Tools, I'm going to be doing this right here because I already have iClone. But if you don't have it and you want to try it out, you can click these right here. So click on this. All right, so once I'm logged in, it's going to give me this here. And basically all I have to do is download this right here. And then all I have to do now is just copy that zip file and put it in my folder which is called uncle sam which is the project name for this i'm going to extract it here for now okay and then we should click on this and you're going to see we have this live link kit okay so what we're going to do now is open up iclone and we're also going to be opening 3d exchange so i'm going to go to the relution hub so while that's opening i'm going to show you a very important thing that you have to do whenever you're doing this if you go to the meta human creator tool and let's just open one of these. Press top. The body type of your MetaHuman is very important when you're doing this. So what I mean is if I go to type right here, I usually do average normal weight because you can have short, tall, average, tall, average. So I use this right here for female and then I use this for male right here. And this is average female, average male now this is very important because you're going to see that the dummies are similar they have the same naming convention so if we go to female medium normal weight body female medium overweight body so i use this for female for male i use this 
Okay. So whenever you're creating your characters in the MetaHuman Creator tool, make sure you're paying attention to that. Okay. So we have iClone open now. And what I'm going to do is actually, let's change, go, let's go ahead and change the total frames here. Okay. Cause by default, it's only 1800. All right. And what I'm going to do is import one of those. All right. So for this one, we're going to do female, normal weight, open. So you can see it's right here. Now in a Relution Hub, we're going to be opening the 3D Exchange. Okay, so now we have 3D Exchange up. We are going to import our mocap data. So if I go to my folder, Uncle Sam, go to mocap, we're going to go with a female agent first. I'm going to go check ignore namespace, import animation, we're going to do 60 frames per second. Okay, now that I have that here, that's good. Make this like that. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is double click the animation right here. All right, you can see it's moving around. I'm gonna press stop because what we're gonna do is actually convert to non-standard right here. And then what we're going to do is click on the head here and click on the head here because basically we're going to tell iClone or uh, iClone 3D Exchange where the bones are for this. So pretty much do the entire thing right here. And if you go down here, there's also arrows. So just pick the first one right here. And actually this is your shoulder. Sorry, should have done that and they should turn green. For as far as the hands, I didn't have any gloves on on this one, so it shouldn't have any finger information. It's just the usual right here. All right, so once you're done with that, and what I'm gonna do is just load my preset, because this I created a preset for this for my Xsensor window. And as you can see, everything is good, and then I'm gonna go ahead and convert. And then all we have to do now is go to apply this iClone. And this is gonna send this straight to iClone, which is freaking awesome. So if I press play or scrub through, you're gonna see our motion. Pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this smaller because I actually recorded a lot of warming up prior before and after. See that? I'm walking around. I'm just waking up the sensors there. Keep going. Okay. And this is where she stops. Go like this. And what's great about this is we're actually going to be cleaning this up a little bit here. And then if need be, you know, in Unreal Engine, we can clean that up as well. But I absolutely love cleaning up in iClone because it's so much faster. And you're going to see that here in a second. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to break it. I'm going to delete the before because I don't need all that. I'm going to drag this all the way to the beginning. Okay. And you're going to see we have a clap here. One, two, three. Bam. Okay. So that's, that's her sync. We're going to go all the way. And then she's going to go walk around again for the warm up. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to break it right here and delete this. And I'm going to go ahead and save this because I'm super, super duper paranoid when it comes to this. So we're going to do female body because we're actually going to separate the motion. We're going to do, we're going to do the motion separately for body and then we're going to do it, uh, for the facial as well. So the next thing we're going to do is actually add the audio. Now, the only way I was able to add audio here was adding like a, like a shape. All right. And then, or like a prop and then adding the audio to it. So if I go to prop right here, I'm going to go 3d blocks. I'm just going to drag and drop this 3d block right here. And I'm just going to scale it down because that's way too big. So like 10, oop, 10, 10, 10. 
All right, and when that's done, you're going to see that in our timeline right here. Now I'm going to go to my audio, sound. I'm going to click on one of these, and I'm going to say, find file. This is going to open up a Windows Explorer. And what I'm going to do is add my sounds here. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. Then I'm going to go to my Uncle Sam folder, and then I'm going to go to my exports. I have female, male, and then together. Okay, so we're going to copy the female. I'm going to go back, paste, and let's go ahead and copy the male there. And since this is synced up to our body mocap, this is going to work amazing. So I'm going to drag the audio clip through the dummy. If I press play, one, two, three clap okay we saw that her clap was a little bit faster than our actual audio so i'm gonna click on this make it bigger one two okay so she is clapping way too early one two three still three Three, clap. Three, clap. clap. Three, clap. Okay, so that's pretty good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it out so I don't move it. One, two, three, clap. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm gonna save it. Control S. Let's see if my movements follow along. I see you still like to meet up in creepy places. What do you want? So that was good when I said, what do you want? And that's why whenever I was performing, I had the audio playing at the same time and I synced it. I told you, I don't work for you anymore. Okay, and you can see it's syncing up really nicely. All right, so next order of business is actually just fixing this a little bit, um, you know, because that's way too close to the body there. You know, it's like touching. It shouldn't be like that. All right. So what I'm going to do, and I purposely did that so I can show you how easy it is to fix that here. All right. So I'm going to go to the motion layer right here. Edit motion layer. I'm going to go twirl this down. We have gestures and motion layer. For gesture, that's like your hands. For motion layer, that's the rest of your body. All right. So I'm going to the first frame. where that female agent is. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna rotate this out. I'm gonna press E right there to rotate. I'll do it to the other side as well. One, three. And that's it. We pretty much Thanks. fixed that in two clicks. And that is beautiful. All right. What do you want? Now, if that's a little bit too far, I mean, you can finesse this here, okay? You can finesse this. I mean, we can spend like a whole week on this finessing the movement here. And right now what I'm looking for is just like things going through the body like that right there. Got to make sure that's not going through the body. And it doesn't look like it. So that's good. Okay, so it's good. Animating good. Now, depending on your motion, you might have a lot more cleanup than I do. Okay. Perfect. 